I would love to have a, a drink with Etta James. That would be amazing. All right, yeah, what would you want to ask? I mean, I would, I would just want to talk to her about everything and I would, you know, be that horrible person that's like, can you please just sing to me while we're sitting <laughs> yeah. here? How would you describe your journey through show business, but in only just like one or two words? <laughs> Ooh, ongoing, mm. you know? I'm, I'm still figuring out, you know, what I want to do and I don't, I don't want to settle myself in one place, you know? I don't want to say, oh, I'm an actor or I'm a singer or I'm this or I'm this because I think the beauty of being a creative person is, is having, you know, the ability to try different things out. It's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to do Dancing with the Stars because what an incredible opportunity to have a dancer that literally is a worldwide champion basically be forced to, you know, sit and be patient yeah. with you and teach you incredible dances that, and then I can then take that knowledge and then use it forever. Right. You know? What, um, who's the most creative person that you look up to, whether it's someone you know or don't know? Um, hmm. I don't know, you know, I'm so inspired by my family mm -hmm. and my sisters, actually. Both of my sisters are so incredibly creative and different. What's been the um, biggest bump along the road and how did you overcome it? Just in just in, just in life, yeah. Oh man, I mean, <laughs> I think one of the most important lessons I think that I've really learned, especially in the past year, you know, is you really can't determine your self-worth and the value that you have for yourself by what other people think mm -hmm. because if you're constantly letting your opinion of yourself go up and down and waver depending on what people think, you're never going to be happy. Who in your life is like someone that you've looked up to who kind of has the same outlook as well? I mean, I think a lot of it, to be honest, has just been through trial and error, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't, there's not a manual that comes out that, you know, teaches you that when you have famous parents or even if you don't, that, that teaches you. You could write you, that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> It teaches you how to kind of deal with things. And so, you know, you kind of just have to figure it out as you're going along. And look, don't get me wrong, I've made a lot of mistakes in terms of, you know, trying to figure out how to react to certain things and not letting it get to me. When you have a night off, what are you doing? I'm usually at home with my dogs watching oh. Scandal or something of that nature. How many dogs do you have? I have five. Is that legal? <laughs> What kind of dogs are they? Um, I have two Chewinis that are new puppies, and um, I got them out of kind of a crazy story. And then I have a German Shepherd mix and two Chihuahuas. Can I hear the crazy story? <laughs> yeah. My mom's dog this past year actually passed away, unfortunately, and it was like right before her birthday. And she was devastated, and so I thought, you know, all right, well, I'm going to get her another dog. And so I find this little black. Chewini, and her name is Delilah, and I was like, I'm gonna get out of this dog. Like, I don't need another dog, it's fine. And she stayed with me for a week, and I totally could fell in love, and it was could over. You give her up? And so then I found these other dogs that I found another rescue, and I said, all right, well, maybe I'll bring her options so that, you know, she, and maybe she won't Mother. pick Delilah. So then she, she then there was a litter, and this woman was only supposed to bring this one dog over, but she ended up bringing a sister and a brother and my mom decided to keep both of them. Okay. And, and then a friend of ours was looking at another litter mate of the two that my mom got, and he had a perfectly split face. So he looks like a, like a Catahoula dog, you know, the ones that are kind of spotted? Yeah, like yeah. Like the dog from mm -hmm. Mad Max? Yeah. So I saw him, and I don't have any boy dogs, and I was like, I can't give him up. He's amazing. So I have Jack and Delilah, and then there's another one. So my mom has three new puppies, and I have two new oh ones. Oh, my. Who's watching the dogs when you're here in Chicago? <laughs> my roommate is watching the dogs. Oh.